Everybody here wants to play. They're playing for their mates, they're playing for themselves, they're playing for the community, they're playing for the club, and, and, and it's an enjoyment. So there is something that sort of pulls them together. And, you know, they've given more to the game than I've given. What I was quite aware of, that when that refereeing came to an end, I didn't want to wake up and think, what am I going to do next? So I've been very fortunate that I, you know, set up the farm, so that keeps you busy. It's given you more time to do things, which is just normal things you couldn't do. Things have changed, but, you know, pro probably changed for the better in one sense as well. You look, I can go and walk over on a Saturday afternoon now, watch my local rug rugby team, and then go back to the club and have a few pints with, the, with my mates. So it's where you go, really, the rugby club, because it, it is the heartbeat of, of the village, really. And then, you know, you go there, your mates play, you know, your family, friends, my cousin and my godchildren play there now. Um, so it, it is, you know, Ponoberium is, is, is very close to my heart, really. It's the camaraderie, the humour, the, the enjoyment. And, you know, when, when somebody goes through some tough times, then people pull together because, you know, the team pulls together and, and supports you. I suppose it goes back maybe to, to when people are working underground, which is very dangerous years ago. You needed a team around you because it could be a very dangerous place. So then obviously that transcends then outside the working community into the recreational side of things as well, into team sports like, like rugby. So, you know, that's where I think a lot of the ethos of that, of that team has come from, and that's why I think Wales is such a close-knit community. You know, there are people in Ponoberium here who have been on the committee in Ponoberium for about 40, 50 years. You know, very seldom they get recognition for it, really. So that's why I think it's important, I think, you always put back into something that you've been very fortunate to get to get so much out of. Realistically, a lot of the players in Ponoberium know they're not going to be professional players. But honestly, a lot of them would, would like to be because it's such a complex game and different positions and everybody with different roles, you know, it probably it, it relies on technology um, in so many different aspects for your own personal development as a player and as a team. You need technology then um, and a system like VO to capture all, all of that, particularly from an analysis point of view. Look where we're watching, boys, every single one of us look at the ball. No one of us is looking in at the play, at what's happening in front of us. Stone Cold's outside! That's it! That's Stone Cold! Stone Cold! That's it! <laughs> <laughs> I should have passed that. He should have passed that. It brings a little bit of professionalism then to the amateur side of things where they can feel that they are getting the same opportunities uh, as the Scarlets are, are getting, or players in the Scarlets are able to watch the performance back and get better, and, and yet they're able to do it as well. So it definitely is something that they, they are very, very proud of, and something they, you know, they, they really do feel that they're getting a little bit special about it, you know?